All right, so in the last lecture, we saw how we can go ahead and log in, right? And how this admin is already receiving data from that special user by using sessions, like we did right here. We're echoing that section, session, and we are sending it, right? So we are using the login to set that sessions, and we're using the admin header to receive it. Now, there is a big problem here, is that actually the index here, but of course we are we are turning it on by using the admin header, by the way, just that's what I meant. Now, we have a big problem here, it's, if you go to admin header, this is where we are turning it on, right? Now, again, if we are, we are logging in every user here, that is a big problem. Um, we don't want just every user that has a subscriber role or admin role to log in. We just want the admin to log in. So we need to check for that. So let's go to the admin header. Go to admin header inside in admin includes. And we're going to be doing some checking right here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Let's open a PHP tag. And let's check if the user role is admin or subscribing. If it's admin, we of course, we send it to the admin. And if it's not, we send it back to the index.php. But in the future, we, what we might want to do is actually limit some of these users. Uh, if the users are subscribed, we're going to limit them into not maybe uh, adding uh, passwords or adding users or anything like that we can limit them so but that that would be an advanced uh, probably course or advanced lectures right now we're gonna uh, I want to show you about the roles how can we prevent some certain certain users from getting into the admin all right so let's do this let's do say let's let's do something like this if set and we're gonna check for session and we are sending that session actually is called user role if you remember from the login so if it's set we're gonna do something with it right so if it's set we want to convert this role if it's set we want to say let's do another if statement right here alright so if it's set let's do if user role equals to uh, admin and actually subscriber because that's the only one that we are concerned with then we can say header and you can put this logic however you want you can say if it's not equal to to admin or right here if it makes more sense to you like this it's it's however it makes more sense to you if it's not equal to admin then you can redirect them somewhere else let's redirect them to index right and let's just get this out of here that PHP something like that all right so if we say Rico here and one two three submit we can see that we can't log in anymore. Rico. And we can't see it, but it is refreshing. See that? You can see right here, it just does it so quickly. So right now it's not equal, right, to uh, admin. Let's go ahead and make Rico admin and see if he can if he if he's able to log in. So admin, actually I'm not able to log in either. So what we need to do is we need to go to the database and check another user that it is admin we can actually convert it into admin right here if we wanted to so let's go ahead and do that let's let's just make Rico let's just refresh it here make Rico admin because we are not able to log in anymore so let's go ahead and change into admin right here admin go alright so now we change that user role to admin let's see what happens because we got locked out out of our own CMS can you believe it so Rico one two three submit Ah, oh, that feels so good. Now we are able to log into our uh, CMS, right? So uh, again, let's just recap a little bit on what we did here, and I'm gonna recap on everything. But right now, let's you see we're checking the user role that we're sending from the login form, and 
right here. See that user row? We're checking to see it. Right now, that user row is getting the value out of the database. And depending on what values it has on the database, that is what values gets transferred to this session right here. And then that session, we are using it in the admin header right here. So right now, the value for Rico is admin. So that's the value that's going to be right here. So he's saying if it's not equal to admin, the admin value, then redirect them to index. If it is, then it's going to let them go through. All right? So this is how we can we can check on that. Now, another thing I want to recap real quick is the login, just in case for some reason you guys did not understand what we did exactly. All right? So perfect. Let's do that right now. So we are starting sessions because we are going to be using it. We got the database connection, of course. So we're getting all this information from the login form, right? So we say if we receive information from the login form, we receive the user and password. We're going to assign it to variables. We're going to clean it up and we're going to assign it to the same variables again, all right? Because you can change the variables uh, values over and over again as many times as you want. Then we're using, we are doing a query to go to the users table where the username in the database is equal to that username that we are getting from the form, right? Right here. Oh, right here now. And then once we have all that information from that user that is equal to that username, we are sending in the select query. Well, this is the, when we select, when we use this function, then we get all those results back in here in this variable. We are assigning it to this variable. Then we are testing here if it's not if that query is not true, then we do this. If it is, then it goes and, do, and we do a while loop. Then we loop through that result right here. You see that on that variable? We loop through it and we check all the values. We loop through all the values and we pull them out like an array, right? Because it is an array and we assign it to each of these variables, values to a variable. Once we assign these values each of these um, indexes, right, in, the, in this array, two variables, then we are checking it right here. So we are checking if the username that we're getting from this form right here is the same as the one inside the database. And if the username is not the same, that the, from, from the form is not the same as the, the one from the database, and if the password is not the same as the one from the database, then we're going to redirect the user back to index. If it is, the same. Then we're going to assign it sessions, all right? And these sessions are going to have the DB username. So they're going to have the values from the database. So right now, if this is the Rico, it's going to have the Rico name right here. And we're going to assign it to this session right here. This is just like another placeholder, basically, like a variable, if you want to just say it like that, all right? It's just that it works different. It's like cookies. So then once we have it right here in this session, then we, every time we turn on this session with, with this uh, function here, we can access that value anywhere. All right? And then we redirect them. Once we assign those values values to these sessions, we redirect them to admin. And then in admin, we are catching those values in the admin header. And we are displaying it right here. All right? So hopefully that recap uh, helped you understand better. If for some of you that were confused, if... Uh, all right. So if you do have any problems, you know where to find me. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture and you're doing really awesome. All right. Awesome. 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 Do never give up. Keep doing it. Right. I'll see you in the next lecture. Good job.